Hello everyone, this is Boricua Binks and welcome back to Let's Play Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. As always, I am joined by Pharaoh. Say hello. Hello there, everybody. And in the last episode, we continued on in our investigation of the fourth case of the game. And we were investigating inside of the artist studio. And uh, we found a lot of very suspicious things, like... He has uh, what looks like a copy of one painting, and then he has some tools that looks like um, like what an architect would use, and I don't know, there's just a lot of suspicious things going on. But now we're using the power of science, thanks to Emma, to uh, investigate more. Yeah, we gotta spray some poisons, or no, not poison itself, but look for poison. <laughs> okay, I was about to say, please don't poison anyone. Okay, start spraying all over the place. Nothing on this screen, so we'll go to the next screen. Ah, nothing. Did you get some? I didn't get anything either. What the hell? Huh. Uh... I I don't know. That's weird. Maybe. Do we go back if we get nothing? I don't, I'm taking another look around really quick just to make sure. No, I think we were actually supposed to get nothing. Yeah, I guess not. All right. Too bad. No reaction there. I'm sure Emma checked checked out all the likely spots. Wait a second. What is it, Apollo? Did you spray that little desk over there? I don't think so. The spray probably can't reach that far, you know? Uh, I what did, What the hell okay. does that even mean? <laughs> Let's check it out, just to be sure. I had a feeling that's all was going to happen, that we needed to zoom in again. <laughs> I thought it was going to let us zoom in, but... Huh? Again, we had there it is. Uh, uh, oh, blue. It's blue, da ba dee da ba da <laughs> A reaction, Apollo! Ugh! Oh. Where? Where? The inside of that cute little frame. Look! Well, would you look at that? Nice going, Trucy. I'm known to work magic. Ha! <laughs> Get it? Boo. Uh, never mind that I was the one who found it. <laughs> oh, let's stop pouting. I mean, yeah, he, he wants his, uh, you know, due credit or whatever. <laughs> Why would the inside of that frame have poison on it? And it looks like we found the only other place that was poisoned in any case. Okay. Right. Is there something else we're talking about? No, I think we still have to present stuff to her. Uh, we didn't give her the envelope yet, did we? No. I was thinking that's what we do next. Alright, let's try it out. Emma, about this... Oh, that. Yes, why, that's a bright red envelope. She sure is jumpy. Someone opened this, didn't they? My lips are sealed. Your lips are sealed? That's a first. You mean, you know what's inside the envelope? Sure, I read it, after all. Ah, you mean you were the one who ripped this open? Huh, please. I would have steamed it open. But she did sneak a peek at it, apparently. Know that I have a powerful weapon on my side. Weapon? Other than your gun? <laughs> <laughs> right, since I, you are a, a technically part of the police. Yeah. Yes, the use of tools. Highly specialized tools for information gathering. How are you carrying that around? Right, and why does it look like something you'd find in a Resident Evil game for, like, random puzzle? Mm -hmm. uh, tools I wouldn't mind getting my hands on, speaking of other things. <laughs> you should try flattering her, Apollo. I'm working on it! <laughs> they say a little praise can open big doors. <laughs> Well, it is pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> this game. 
<laughs> no, not this game. Us. I know, I know. We're ruining everything. Never heard that one, but it's good advice. Let's try talking to her some more. About that envelope we found. I was wondering if you could help us out with that tool you were mentioning. <laughs> you want to know about my tool, do you? Why do you have a tool? <laughs> it's called an X-ray analyzer. That's what I call my eyes. Okay, Cyclops. <laughs> right. X-ray, like the X-rays you get at the dentist? That's right. At least that's what I call it. Huh? It has a real name, but it's much more complicated. The X-ray spectralization... Something. How am I supposed to remember all that? So, basically, it lets you see inside things, like envelopes. That's right. You're sharp, Trucy. But it's a bit more complicated than that in practice, of course. Actually, to tell the truth, I'm not really sure how it works scientifically. Emma, wh what? Hmm. Why do you have it then? I mean, because it does the job, but she's not going to know like the ins and outs of why it does what, what it does. Mm, I suppose that's true, because, I mean, I'm using a computer and I don't know half of what it does. <laughs> Trust me, I, I majored in this stuff, and I even I don't know. <laughs> well, actually, that's more like electrical and en engineering, and whatnot. But it's it's some confusing stuff to say the least. But thank God they did it. Yep. Can I try it out, Emma? Please. Oh, I suppose. Of course, I've already checked out everything suspicious myself. All right, let's give it a spin, Apollo. Oh, I thought we were literally spinning. Right, what was that noise? <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? Oh, just seeing if I could see through your hair, but it's like lead. Point that thing at me anymore, and it might all fall out. Right? <laughs> then I wouldn't need an X-ray machine to see through it. Let's just get down to business, shall we? To defeat the Huns? That's exactly what I was thinking of. <laughs> Right, let's test it on a sample first. Wait, isn't that movie coming out, like, next month? Yes, it is. I just saw a thing for it today. I hope. I mean, it makes me wonder if it's going to be good. But I wonder if they're going to have musicals in it like that. I don't know. But I'm excited to see her being badass, so it's fine. Let's hope. It just so happens that I have a lottery ticket here. Is that not illegal to do? Uh -huh. You set the sample in the device, like so. Yeah, I don't see anything. Patience. There's no need to get all antsy. Look at the right side of the screen. That's the layer view of the envelope. Layer view? You've got it set to display the outside of the envelope now, see? Actually, it's quicker to just have you give it a try. Turn that dial there for me, would you? Oh, okay. That's right. That's how you choose what depth you want to scan. Hey, I got something! See? That's how you can read the letters on the ticket inside. Cool, huh? Except... I can't read them. Just turn the dial a little more. What you have to understand is that a sheet of paper isn't really flat at all. When you zoom in that much, you see that paper is like a bunch of hills and valleys. Wow, really? This x-ray device uses a beam with a wavelength of only 0.05 microns. Are microns real? I don't know. <laughs> Never heard of them until this game. I don't know anything really scientific. <laughs> It breaks cards down into thin layers, so it can only show what's written on that layer. I'm not entirely following you, but what good is it if you can't read anything? That's why we go on to step two. 
Try rubbing the image a bit, if you would. That image? Don't ask me twice. What? That's like you don't have to ask me twice. Oh. <laughs> Terribly. The image? You mean rub the screen? Huh? Rubber, rub, 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 rub. Rubber ducky. There. That fixes the image on the screen. Now, turn the dial again, just a little. Good. Now you can rub this image to fix it, too. Hey, I get it! We just keep doing this until we've got the whole thing! Exactly. Not bad. Neat. Let's do some more. Okay. Okay. Turned it too much, I think. Oops. It's hard to know when I have to stop until I was like, oh, it's too much. Oop. This is a little tedious, but I don't mind it. Yeah, it's not bad. It's a little harder to control than uh, when it was on the DS. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Come on. Okay. Almost? It's weird. I think I'm missing something. Yeah, I thought it would be done, but... We gotta go back up? I think we do. Oh, yep. Yeah. Until it's really clear. There we go. Okay, let's print this one out. Okay. <laughs> we lose, yep. Ouch! You lose. At least you know where you stand, eh? Anyway, now you see the true hidden power of my weapon. Neat, huh? Now let's try it out on the real thing, shall we? Oh, it's gonna take a while. I might have to do some editing just so I speed it up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, eh, it's not terrible, but it's like, oh god. Like, the controls can be still a little finicky. Okay. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Let me know when you're done. I th there we go, yep. <clears throat> okay, let's print this one out. Um, Hard to read. We'll wait until they... Somebody's gonna yeah. say it or something. Yeah. Someone deposited $100,000 into Mr. Misham's account? His paintings must be really valuable. There's another page in there. Care to take a look? You bet I do! If you're going to read someone's mail, you might as well read it all. Here goes with the second page, then. Yay! Yay, this is tedious, but it is what it is. It like, yeah, right, the one that you might find funny, there was a bitch slap contest. <laughs> what? Just push circle. And it's like, it's two girls just going at it. I'm like, all right. <laughs> I'm sure you enjoyed that. Ah, uh, yeah, I think the whole entire viewing audience enjoyed it. Alright, I'm done. I'm almost. Damn, you, you're going quick as hell. I'm like, I was like three steps behind you. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, now I'm done. Okay, let's print this one out. Yeah, I really can't read that. <laughs> my, my bad okay. eyesight. <laughs> So, it was a letter about payment for one of his paintings. Why all the secrecy, though? And... And what? Why was this letter the only one in here? It's seven years old, right? Maybe it had some special significance to him? Well, Emma? Well, indeed. She knows something she's not telling us. Looks like she's keeping mum about it. Okay. So, Emma, I was wondering, what's the story about this reporter that came here for a story the night of the crime? Ah, uh, I'm afraid I can't tell you, because he's going to be a witness tomorrow, I hear. I thought so. I'll never forget that face. But what was his name? Oh, right. Brushel. 
Russell? He's after a scoop to sell to the papers. So a reporter comes for an interview with a painter. His first interview ever, and that night, he's killed. Seems strange to you? Really strange. It does raise a few questions. I'd like to speak with this reporter if I could. Well, I hear he's on the beat today, too. He said something about covering a magician. A magician? Well, if it's not true, see, that leaves only one other person. Yeah, because they're the only magicians, apparently, in the whole city. <laughs> uh, apparently so. It must be some weird magician ban or something, mm. or nobody just cared for magic. It wasn't Volant Grammary by any chance, was it? Yeah, something like that. He's got some big show lined up, I hear. So, he's out interviewing Volant Grammary. Looks like I'll be heading out to that Coliseum again sooner than I thought. Here, I'll give you that reporter's card if you want. Okay. Okay... Do we just well, head out, then? I guess, and I'm wondering if there's anything else that we missed. I... I'm not sure if we're supposed to do something now or later. Well, let's do it. I guess we are done what we need to. All right. Then let's head all over to the Coliseum. Woohoo! This is it, Apollo. The place where magic and dreams converge. Oh, I think that... Uh thing is supposed to happen. No, no, no. Never mind. I remember now. Okay. Uh, just a little while ago, it was a place where murder and nightmares converged. Let's go say hi to Uncle Volant. What about the case? <laughs> Waha. <Wow. Yeah. laughs> Not thinking about that. What anime was it? Hattori Boshi or whatever? Like, they make a... It's like that joke. They go like, Wahaha. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Only a performer laughs like that. The young Miss Trucy. How often I've hoped we'd meet again to tell myself it was an impossible dream. <laughs> Uncle Volant, you're such a weirdo. How's it going? I dress like a banana. Yes, Mr. Banana is what I will always call you. <laughs> I'm glad to see you two. Oh, of course you are. <laughs> I, I don't really like the well, I don't think he's we're fun. supposed to, honestly. He's so... <laughs> so smug. Yeah, it's just... Come on, man. Humility is definitely not one of his stronger traits. Well, Miss Trucy, how does the day find you? If you come to give me flowers, do it after the show. I beg you. Actually, we came to wish you good luck. And congratulations on your big magic show! Oh? But it is I who wish to congratulate you! Not everyone is so lucky as to witness miracles such as I shall perform today! Yeah, yeah, you're amazing, we get the picture, jackass. <laughs> the world will watch in, wo in wonderment as Magnifique's illusions are reborn! Here, on stage, by my hand! Oh, God. Do we really have to talk to this dude? <laughs> what do you think I feel? I gotta voice him. <laughs> but you do such a great job of it! Uh... I mean, it's funny, because right. it's like... You're really good at voicing characters that you're not, like, fond of, I guess? Which is... like, what is that even, you know? Like, is that a curse of mine, or is that a... a gift? I don't know. I must hate all the characters to voice all of them perfectly. <laughs> I guess so. It's like, oh, I really hate this gumshoe guy. Oh, no! <laughs> Who could hate gumshoe? <laughs> uh, so apparently some people. Really? I don't know. Yeah, sometimes I'm like, I see it. I have some discussions I see online, but they're like, oh, we're tired of him. Oh, blah, blah. Everybody keeps wanting gumshoe. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, it's gumshoe, damn it. He saved our he's lives! Good. He's a nice guy! I don't know what's their problem. I hope to God he, he has more than ramen nowadays. Aww, I hope so. Alright, so... Should we talk to him? I guess we have no choice. Alright. 
The big magic show. Everyone's talking about the big magic show. Is it true that the Grammarine Miracle is back after a seven-year absence? Miss Trucy, I must apologize. The show and this author should have should have been a his. Daddy. My co-magician in training, Zach Grammarie. If that terrible thing hadn't. It's okay. Your father was a great magician, Trucy. If he were alive, then I, the Lance Grammarie, would have been proud to stand upon this stage as his assistant. Thanks, Uncle Valant. You know, I'm happy you're doing the show. To think, we get to see the great Magnifi's illusions again. She really is looking forward to this, isn't she? Well, it is her family. Alright, let's talk about her grandpa. My mentor, the magnificent Magnifi Grammarie, was a true deity among magicians. Magicians. <laughs> magicians. Magicians. Dear Lord in heaven. A creator god who gave birth to magic and illusions and defied our very imaginations. I was so little when I last saw one, but I still remember his shows. He did wheelies in a sports car through the air above the audience. And then sped off to outer space faster than the speed of sound, girl. <laughs> girl, what type of drugs are you taking? Where can I find <laughs> some? Right? I'm guessing that memory was a bit impelled. <laughs> More than a bit, but okay. <laughs> for seven long years, the world has been waiting for a miracle to, ma to match his. As heir to the Grammary Troop's secrets, it falls to me to provide one. It is my god given destiny. Yes, you nameless face who speaks for the nameless masses. How can oh I help you? Oh my god! <sighs> if the world is waiting, why did you hold off for seven long years? Hmm. But there's a lad is un uninformed. Perhaps you have not heard of the magic known as law, which governs our <laughs> land. He better know it. I have, though I'm not sure it qualifies as magic. The performance of Magnifi's miracle was impossible. A certain law prevented it for seven years, but no more. Seven years? You know, that phrase sure likes to pop up, doesn't it? Yep. And why was that? A little matter called performance rights to Miss Trucy. Ah, okay. Let's hear about that. Can you tell us about these performance rights? No, excuse me. Like a burp coming up and won't come out. Oof. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's like stuck in my throat. I hate this right now. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Magn Magnifi's magic relied <clears throat> on an incredibly innovative idea. A trick, if you will. That trick was considered his property and as such was protected by property laws. Intellectual. Wait, intellectual property, maybe? Magnifi knew this and bequeathed it in his will. To one person. You mean him? Yes. Miss Trucy, it was your father. Zach Grammarie was the inheritor of the Grammarie miracle. Daddy. Yet, as you well know, he is gone. Thanks for, you know, for the reminder. Mm -hmm. He disappeared suddenly, seven years ago. I think I see where his story's going. Once a person is classified missing for a certain period of time, they're considered legally deceased, correct? With all absoluteness, those rolled up sleeves conceal your competence well, young man. What do these sleeves have to do with it? You know what? I don't know. That certain period of time of which you speak is seven years. Ah. Yes, Miss Trucy. Though it pains me to say it, this past spring, April to be precise, was the time. Your father was legally declared deceased. In the absence of a formal will, the secrets of our mighty mentor Magnifi, Magnifi passed to me. This was, in fact, stipulated in the will by Magnifi himself. Is that how it works, Apollo? Yeah, it's called death in absentia. Or absentia. He's declared missing permanently. Daddy... Aw, poor Trucy. She looks sad. 
Yeah. Okay. Well, I think we have more to discuss with him, but we will do that in the next episode. Alrighty, sounds good to me. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this, and until next time, have a nice day. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And also make sure to ring the bell for notifications for new episodes. You can follow me on Twitch where I stream every week. And also follow me on Twitter for updates. Until next time, have a nice day. Adios!